This Mo Tuesday, we're looking at Terror Claws and Flying Fist, E Man and Skeletor. Let's go. Alright, my uh, opening up of these neglected deluxe figures continues in this video. I, I, I guess I'm excited about this. I never opened these before. Skeletor has a little crop top on, a bra, you might say. Always a funny figure. It's great that they continued that on. Funny how that friend in boy's fashion actually has come back in recent years. <laughs> I'm just, I'm starting to open them. Um, I never had these. I talk about this whenever I have been a deluxe figure. I never wanted them or collected them as a kid, but it's funny to get them. <sighs> Is there any news I can talk about in Masters of the Universe world? Where are my special scissors? They're supposed to be right here. I guess I was using them for something else. I'm not gonna get up and go look for them, so we'll just use what I have and I might have to take a break, but, okay, so let's talk new stuff that's announced. So, some cards were revealed. We're getting the blonde guy from Sunman. I was kind of worried that we weren't getting him. It's kind of funny that they had to have, there's a token white minority in the Sunman series, and he basically looks like He-Man. So, what head will he get? What will he look like? Anyway, the artwork was leaked, so we know we're getting him, and we're getting, oh, the other surprise was King Randor. We're getting a 2000X King Randor, and I'm still extremely worried about not getting the King Randor figure. That was the one that I wanted the most from when the Origins line was announced. I was most excited about getting like him and uh, Clamp Champ from the original Wave 6 line. So back, back in the 80s, the last wave, Wave 6, was a very coveted wave and not many people got it because that's when us kids were all growing up and we were too old for toys and the line just went down and nobody got it and now it seems like it's happened again that wave is being cancelled people's orders I don't know what's happening are they switching Masters of the Universe to an online company only because uh, especially here in Canada I I really need that wave I really need a blast attack too blast attack was in uh, that wave and I always wanted one of him so he is my most wanted them to make that's not announced however I am really excited to see these things I need a King Randor though I need that wave I even forget who's else in that wave I love the Sun um, the Sun Man figures so much we have a back metal on this Skeletor. It's kind of cool. I mean, these figures are great. I love the bright colors on Origins. Um, uh, that's what makes them different. That's what makes them modern. I always mention this in these videos. Oh, and look, he's got a action feature, which is kind of cool too, because these figures never have action features. I'm not gonna rip them apart. Let's look at the diagram right now. I usually save this for the bottom but it tells you where you can tear these apart. So it's best that I do look at this. And I know not to look, do not pull on the waist here or I will break him, but I can take off his hands and his feet and his head. So yeah, he's kinda, he's kinda minimal taking apart. Uh, the good thing about these packs are usually they give you really cool head sculpts too to mix and match with your other Skeletors. Um, oh man, I love this artwork. I love the cross cell artwork. Is this a... Oh, this is a English card. I mean, an American card. That means that I have words inside here. 
Hmm, I actually don't even know if these were available in Canada. I ordered these originally from a seller on Amazon who had them for really cheap, but it seems that this seller on Amazon got the same deal that Winners was getting. So the TJ Maxx companies were getting these in for, oh yeah, I didn't mention this in this video, I paid $8 each. I had originally bought them for pretty cheap. I think I bought them for $20 each, which is a great deal for these on Amazon. And then I found them at Winners, and then I returned the ones to Amazon. And I mean, the cards might be a little more beat up. This one even has its peg hole, but I, yeah, I am, I'm not going to pass up the $8 deal for these. They had a lot of figures at uh, Winners and Marshalls for $8, and I didn't see or get many of them. I wanted to buy more of the um, Masters Verse ones, but unfortunately I did not find all of them, and now it doesn't seem to be happening anymore. Hopefully winners will get more toys. They just are clearing out the Christmas toys now, but I'm seeing more to newer toys trickle in. I'm also looking for Cave Club. I love Cave Club. So I'm hoping to find Sleepover. You don't want to hear about that in this video, but I love Cave Club. Can't, this head is really stuck in here. And I'm not sure that these are the best scissors for opening this stuff. I'm going to uh, the cross cell. I didn't notice that these were American cards. I'm going to show you this artwork some more. Really, really cool. Hmm, I'm trying to remember what else was on this leaked artwork. Were there characters that we haven't seen yet? No. It's funny because it was mixed in with the snake armor He-Man and uh, ones that we already know we're getting. That wave is showing up. Some people somewhere have found snake armor Skeletor. I don't know where that was, but these claws are awesome. Oh man, I wonder if they're the same claws that came with the WWE. Probably not. I think the WWE mostly used the classics. Um, accessories they used with the head. It was really surprising how the Masters of the WWE, how they didn't use uh, new things and they didn't use the stuff from the Origins. I think that they were being developed so long before uh, Origins was even being developed that they had to go and use the classic stuff. Now this one's coming right off the bubble already. This could be easier to open than I think. I wish I knew a way. Um, I haven't experimented with acetone, but I have seen Hot Wheels collectors just paint acetone on at the back with a paintbrush, and then all of the gum around the bubble would come loose. And I haven't, I haven't experimented with that, but I really, really want to. And in my last, was it the last video I showed my binder? Or a couple videos back where I put all of these things in and store them. Some people asked uh, what uh, special, I just used a binder that I bought at the dollar store and I just used the full sheet protectors. This is, uh, this measures eight and a half. So an eight and a half by 11 sheet protector, you just stick two in and they, two in together and they'll, you know, butt up against each other and they'll hold themselves in. These things have to be overlapped within the binder, but I just, you know, I just overlap them and just put them in. But yeah, it's just a single page where you can get that anywhere. You can get them at Staples. You probably can get real good ones at Staples. I know I have some of the ones that I have are from Staples and uh, the ones that I use that I can get really easily are the ones from the dollar store. But be careful, at, at my dollar store you can get really cheap ones, and I bought really cheap ones that are kind of useless to me, because they're so thin, 
and then you can get more expensive thicker ones so I like the better quality ones however you can get 50 for the same price as 10 but I'd rather have 10 good quality ones than 50 flimsy ones Okay, I'm gonna I always save my cards but I'll go back and cut off this stuff later Definitely I'm taking the whole time doing for this when was, there's no other news the only other news is that I think people are starting to believe that the line is cancelled well I think we all know that it's not cancelled that it's gonna be online there's too many announcements however they did say that Snake Mountain was gonna be at retail but did somebody, did they actually say that Snake Mountain was going to be at retail? Or did they just say that they were going to make Snake Mountain? I don't remember any official announcement that it would be available in stores. But where, where are the new figures in Canada? However, Canada did just restock. They restocked where I just saw online. Uh, they put out uh, the Shira wave. No, I'm sorry, not the Shira wave. The Sorceress wave. Sorceress and Clawful and whoever else is in that wave. And I've seen uh, lots of those um, come to the pegs. What else did I? I didn't open up another one. Oh, I have a... Uh, a regular, I have a regular He-Man with the 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 the, the, the they they reissued He-Man and Skeletor, regular He-Man and Skeletor, but they gave them um, old school heads, not like the new ones. And I've never opened those two. I have those to open. They're just standard He-Man and Skeletor. They just gave them new heads. me talking while I open up the most difficult packages in the world to open. What kind of video is this? But I mean, some of you, some of you don't mind sticking around while I struggle and make really annoying plastic opening noises. Let's take a look at his parts. He has the same kind of um, removable parts. So it's that whole torso is connection. You just take off the feet, the hands, and the head. Like that. Oh, that head came off really easy. Uh, so we had this is the head, I guess, that would have come with the new He-Man. This is a very, very um, bright blonde hair. And then this one looks like it's the one that comes with the battle damage He-Man and Battle Cat, which I probably should open. I have that down in a drawer here. That is a set I could open on Tuesday. I, I do like this um, light brown and the red. Let's see what his feature is. Okay, so he's Jiggle Arms too. They have exactly the same. Oh man, Spin Blade, He Man, the downfall of of 2000 X figures, which I did collect all of them. However. Um, I didn't like them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, he, um, goes back and forth like this, and, uh, he's got this shield, and for some reason, I, I don't think the shields work very well on these, and I don't know why. I never can seem to make the shields work on these figures oh but however this one fits awesomely in his hand so I take that all back that is the first time that I've got a shield to work okay so you just do this and he spins that and this spins it's ridiculous this is why I didn't even like it as a kid however the design is awesome the back metal is insanely crazy it looks like this should go on that hand though that's the part I don't understand um, because look it's on the inside why would the spinning ball be on the inside that's what it shows that's what it shows in this artwork though 
I would think that it would have to be on the outside because that looks silly the way that the shells. Anyway, that's how it fits and it probably comes with another hand where you can swap it out and this shield does fit really well. Oh, and this spins too. I don't know. I didn't have the original one. Uh, oh yeah, look in here is the wheel that they stuck on the mold. Normally you would go like this. However, I guess it's just a grip. I don't know if it was a wheel. Probably a wheel. I think it was a wheel. They wouldn't have made of that grip there if it wasn't a wheel. However, you don't need to because you have these finger things, which is really bad design, I think. Because ooh, oh, it's for storage. Okay, I take that back because that is made so you can clip this into here, and oh, that part I love because if you can get this out of the way and you can free up his hands and put that silly I don't mind having a backpack full of silly things because oh, that's kind of cool oh and then you do it like this that looks kind of cool it kind of looks like a helicopter I like that all right that's oh, that, that's forgivable and I do like this shield. It's really kind of neat. It does it kind of reminds me of Sun Man for some reason. It looks, I don't know, it looks out of this world. Uh, cool, back metal, of course is cool. That looks like a horde symbol. Did you ever notice that? Kind of confusing. And then Terra Claws I never really used. How does this work? Put this in his hand. It's the same deal, he has the backpack. To hold it, does it show it on the card? In his back, it does show it on his back. That's the part that I like the best. But let's check it out in his hand. Oh, it's one of those plastic clappy things that makes the fun sound. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think that there's any other. That's a good sound. The. Uh, really good clappy sound so just wobbly just a wobbly also has the dial the fake dial on his back I uh, like that back metal a lot this looks so much like the original and if you stop and look at the design really can appreciate that it's so weird and uh, the crop top bra thing that's too much. And then this does clip into here, like so. Yeah, well that fits really, that's a really great design that that fits there. And then you can dance. It's a good dancing figure. Disco dancing crop top Skeletor, come on. Comes with this Havoc staff. But he is an alternative, which he is so much more because he can do that, but he can also have Terror Claws, which is insane. So this is a really souped up figure. And then that, that, that looks good. He does look, he's crazy dancing with giant hands. Like it's ridiculous, it's foolish. I felt that way when I was a kid. I still feel this way, yet I'm so happy and it's fun and the design is awesome and it's kind of terrifying at the same time. Cute, terrifying, and he has so much to hold in his hands. His Havoc Staff, it's a different color of purple. Could have they molded it in the same plastic? This is the more softer rubber. This is the more brittle rubber. This stuff doesn't make a good ASMR video. All this stuff sounds really good. And then he also has a holding hand. They both come with one holding hand each. And I didn't show you that He-Man came with his cool sword that has a handle that fits so it's awesome it's nice sweet like comment share and subscribe masters of the universe for the win oh, we'll see you next time i'll show you the comic books at the end of this video did i show you this art we're gonna look at it some more. I love this stuff. I love the cross cell so much. I want them all.
Do I have them all? I have all of those. That's the wave. Oh no. I've been talking too long. That's the wave. This is the wave that's available at Walmart in Canada now. These four figures. But that's is that irony? Uh, I'll take I'll take a hair dryer to those stickers and remove them nicely so that I can see that part on the front. And then let's take a look at this mini comic. So hmm, I kind of want to get um, international ones of these, but you know what? Maybe they didn't make international ones of these. Where would they sell them? Because I've never seen them. They didn't come to Canada. This is this is like a different comic book artist. No, I guess not. Um, I I like it. It's nice to have the speech bubbles, but I also like having both English and French versions of these because as much as you need the voices to see the story, it's fun to get the comics without any interruption and just the pictures. Yep, that's the wave. That's the wave that's now available in Canada at Walmart, and you can get it on walmart.ca. But you have to live in Canada to order from walmart.ca. All right, I gotta put these in my binder now. A new mini comic for my binder. Oh, this is the other Skeletor head. I didn't show that. Two Skeletor heads. This one's way better. Creepy. That one's silly looking. I like this one. 